One of the things that I've heard people say about automating their business or even concerns that they've had about using Dubsado is that it removes some of the personal element from being able to engage with your clients. Well, I'm here to tell you that that does not have to be the case. In fact, I'm gonna show you how I use a software system called Loom and Dubsado together to make sure that I'm engaging personally with my clients. Okay, so let me start out with introducing you to the tools that I'm gonna be using during this video. Okay, so the first one I use is called Loom. And let me tell you why I really like it. First of all, it's free and everybody likes free. And sometimes free is not the best because you are really limited in the features, but with Loom, I found that it is really feature rich at the free level, and they definitely have some advanced features that you can pay for that would certainly enhance your ability to use it. But you know, if you're just starting out and wanna just, just start with the basics, Loom is free, it's feature rich, um, it allows you to basically record your desktop or your um, your desktop and your um, browser screen, as well as you know an image of your face. So I'll put a link to you know where you can find Loom online. But basically, you sign up and it's a Google Chrome plugin. So if you have Safari or only have Safari, um, you will need to download Google Chrome in order to use it. Um, but once you do that, which is pretty simple to do, then you can start using Loom to actually record videos and engage with your client. Um, so right now on the screen, you see what the home page is and you can see how you can record your screen and cam and everything like that. And you can just get started that way. And then of course I'm using Dubsado. So we're all using Dubsado and it's feature rich. And one of the aspects of Dubsado that I have used very uh, significantly is the code module. And I'll show you exactly how I incorporate the code module and Loom together so that you can create a seamless um, video and questionnaire for your clients so that you can engage with them more personally. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> now, I'm not gonna really go into um, how I created the video, but just know that I created uh, this video uh, for my client to show them how I am using or how they should use their uh, brand board. I created a brand board for them and now I'm showing them how to use it. So I've created this video in Loom and if you want tutorials on how to use Loom, um, I can uh, link some uh, getting started tutorials directly from uh, the website um, into the uh, description below and you can get started there, but it's really pretty easy. You just, you know, uh, use the Loom software to create a um, to create a video. And basically what you're going to do is you can then um, copy this link um, here to uh, attach it to a email um, or what I'm doing, and again, this is how I'm connecting it with Dubsado, is once you're done, you can actually click this share button. Now, before I click it, I'll also tell you that I've added some additional information in the comment section below. And if your client actually sees this video um, in Loom, they can see any of the comments that you have here as well. But basically when you embed it into Dubsado, you won't get any of these additional um, information and links and stuff like that. So they won't see the comments um, inside Dubsado. So I just wanted to make that very clear. So, but what you would do is click the share button. And then what you're gonna go to is embed. Basically, you would want to use responsive. I tend to use responsive. Um, I don't, unless you have a particular area that you really want your video to fit in, then you would choose fixed size if you know that information. But in general, most people will use responsive because you don't know if your client is gonna be viewing this video on their mobile device or on a tablet device and you don't want it to be cropped based on the size that you put 
in, um, in here. So I typically choose responsive. And I believe the code is actually copied once you click the button, but just to be safe, I hit copy code and that's it. You really don't have to even see the code. That's what I like about it. Um, so if you're afraid of code, then don't worry, just hit copy code and then click away, right? Just click away, just click away, it's okay. Um, you don't have to see it. Okay, so then I'm just gonna navigate back to Dubsado and back to the client's portal. Now, um, what I did was created a couple of them so you can see um, the before and after. So I'm gonna go into the before area. And so I created this brand board final uh, questionnaire for the client. I'm just gonna hit edit, okay? And basically what you wanna do is take a code block like this and add it to your form. And then it'll be here, just like this, right? Now I'm gonna delete that because I already added a code block to the form and it looks kind of empty, but this is actually a code block as well. So you select everything and then just hit Control V for paste, right? And as if by magic, the video is here. Look at that. Now all you have to do is hit save or save and close or save and preview. Let's just hit save and preview just to see what it looks like. So this is what the client would see. They would see this video and then all they have to do is click it and voila. Hi Ken, I wanted to record this quick video to show you how to use the assets that I've just sent you um, in your client portal for your branding and identity design. So I'm just gonna go through a few key points of the uh, brand board that I sent you so that you know how to download it and get all your assets in one place. So when you open up the document that I sent you, you'll notice that there's some instructions here and there's gonna be a video, this video, uh, sitting here to show you what to do next. But basically what you're gonna do is this is your brand board. This has all of the uh, color palettes, your logos, the different logo variations, your typography. Okay, so I'm gonna um, go ahead and, and stop it here. Of your so basically you can see that the person can see me, they can see what I'm talking about. I can give them very specific instructions on what to do, how to download this, what to click or not to click. Um, and, and they can even um, do some rating on here. I mean, not that mo many people I think would, but they can. Um, and then I would get a notification, you know, at any point in the timeline where they were really happy about what I said. Um, and so basically that's what I do. And then I, uh, I save it of course, and go back to the job and send it to them using a canned email or whatever I've used to uh, update it and everything like that. So that is basically it. I mean, there's a lot, if you have some technical skills when it comes to coding or at least just copy and pasting, you know, code snippets. Um, you can use a lot of that in Dubsado with the code module. It's a very, very powerful module. And in fact, for some of you who are a little bit more advanced when it comes to coding and you're having some problems with styling your forms the way you want, I'll even show you in another video that I'm going to be uh, developing soon how to embed CSS into your forms and make it look exactly how you want it to look. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you got a lot out of it. Um, if you have any questions or uh, find that something was a little bit difficult to follow, please comment in, um, in the comments below. Um, of course, I would love to I see you subscribe to my channel um, and give me some questions of other things that you think that um, I might be able to help you with and I'll do videos on those as well. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.